Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we got a tech tip on the premium series compact tractors. Today we've got here the 1M35 with the e-hydrostat transmission. This will work for the 1M35, the 1M40, the 2M50 and the 2M60 with hydrostat. You've got dual braking pedals on the left side and dual hydrostat pedals on the right side one feature premium feature of the 1m series with the e-hydrostat it's an electronic servo hydrostat is the ability for brake to neutral you can actually push both brakes in and it'll uh, stop the transmission from moving uh, a couple of the other features we're going to just go over the this is a synchronized hydrostat so there is no clutch pedal you can shift the ranges simply by ch stopping the tractor and changing from high, medium, or low range here on the side. You have quick and slow response control. Um, do it to the right, it's going to go quicker. To the left, it's going to slower engagement. You've got a max speed limit, which allows you to return to speed, which is great like if you're like a gear transmission because you can return to this constant speed you can use the max speed limit in conjunction with the cruise control here uh, push the pedal down and only let you go so fast that whatever you set here push the cruise control pedal and you'll return to that same speed but what we want to talk about is a feature of the brake to neutral when you're on a slope like we're here on our dock We've got our dock here, which is going to be sloped up a little bit. Um, if you use the brake to neutral feature, it's going to roll before the transmission engages. We're going to show you how to stop that. We're here on the tractor. We've got our parking brake engaged with our two levers with the lock in the lock position. We're going to show you what happens we we'll start the tractor up. Start the tractor up here. We're going to go to mid-range while we're here on the dock. These controls really don't matter. What matters is we're going to take the parking brake off. And then I'm going to hit, if we hit this, hit the forward pedal here, nothing's going to happen or reverse. Now, if I want to go backwards, I let my foot off, and the tractor is going to roll forward. We'll get on a little steeper here. Okay, we got both brake pedals. We're going to hit reverse. See the tractor roll forward? The tractor rolls forward before the transmission engages. We'll show you that again got both brake pedals down hit the reverse the tractor roll forward before the put the brakes on and it rolls before it comes forward this could give you some pucker factor if you're working next to a creek or something loading up items in a grapple or just working near the edge of some place you don't want to roll into so uh, what you can do is reach down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that pedal. Is take the where you have one brake pedal. Now that you have one brake pedal, we're going to let it roll here a little bit. It'll hold it. Because now I hit the reverse pedal, start building up back pressure. You can see that the tires are trying to creep and it instantly starts moving back uphill. So, instead of hitting both brakes, we'll just roll down here a little bit. Hold one brake, build up back pressure with your hydrostat, and then it'll go. Isn't that simple and easy? That's an easy way to roll down the hill here. 
once we hit both brake pedals, it's going to roll first. You've seen it roll backwards before we come. But if you engage one brake, start building back pressure, watch the wheel to see if you can see it's actually already turning before it comes back. That's a simple, easy way to uh, operate your tractor. If you want both brakes, just take your foot and slide it over when you're ready to start building back pressure. Now you've got back pressure built and the tractor will go backwards. Simple, easy way to overcome an e-hydrostat. The brake to neutral feature that dumps the oil to the hydrostat when you apply both brakes is going to you can see it roll forward before it comes back use one brake build your pressure with your hydrostat release the brake and you're good to go i hope that helps you learn a feature of the e-hydrostat servo transmission that's available in these premium tractors not all hydrostats are created equal but there's a lot of extra features with electronic cruise control, electronic speed limiter, electronic speed response, and no clutch to shift for your three ranges. Plus it's got auto throttle. There's a lot of cool features in these that uh, add extra value when you add to the premium compact tractor for Massey Park. What we're gonna do is show you a way to overcome the the hydrostat re-engaging itself once you've used the dual brake and the brake to neutral feature. Start it up, we're gonna push the brakes to release it. We're gonna back up just a little bit. See it rolls forward. If you hit both brakes like we've got here, it's gonna roll.
We hope that helps you learn a little bit more about the premium features of the e hydrostat available in the M series premium compact tractors, the 1Ms and the 2Ms with e the hydrostat transmission will all have these features and operate the same. Uh, previous generation models also with the e hydrostat transmission, this will work with them. The 1700Ms, the 1800Ms with e hydrostat servo transmission. Put this to work for you to make it easier to operate your tractor. And if you're in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Varnberg Implement. We'd love to show you, teach you, help you learn more, get more when you purchase a tractor from Varnberg Implement.